Sierra Nevada Corporation presents the Armed Overwatch MC-145B Coyote Platform. I'm Mark Williams and I'm the Vice President of Aviation Strategic Plans and Programs for Sierra Nevada Corporation. I had a 24-year career in the military. Spent five years at the Air Force Academy, got my engineering degree. I wanted to figure out how I could best use my technical background and, and help the Air Force and went to U.S. Special Operations Command. I think it's invaluable that I have served and actually served with and for the Special Operations community. And you'll see those elements in the solution that we're bringing on Armed Overwatch. My name's Chuck Shannon. I was in the Special Operations for 24 years. I spent 18 years in Special Missions Unit supporting uh, U.S. Army Special Operations Command. I think the key to the Armed Overwatch program is going to be the integration with the operator from the planning all the way through mission execution and recovery. The ability to embed and plan with the operators and understand the actual nuances of the mission, the sequences of the operation, and then tying that all together to ensure that we get mission success is going to be key. We looked at 44 different platforms and then we down selected that to the best seven and then we actually modeled different mission systems that we felt would be needed to meet not only that requirement for white self but black self as well and one of the real key aspects is not owning your own battle space and i think that we're going to have to have a very versatile dynamic platform that is modular in design allowing the operators to pick and choose the tools in the tool bag that they want to put effects on target not only can it do the armed overwatch mission probably better than all the other platforms, but it can also do other missions that aren't even captured in the requirements. We believe we can carry more munitions. We've got the ability to shoot anywhere from 14 to 28 APKWS. We also have the ability to shoot Hellfires as well. We can drop a small diameter bomb. We have eight reloadable common launch tubes in the cargo bay. You can launch a bunch of precision guided munitions. You can launch UAVs out of those CLTs. We're going to be the only ones that can actually fire a JASM out of the cargo bay and actually have an impact in the peer-to-peer -peer fight. We have the ability to carry multiple sensors, SIGINT, SAR sensors, EOIR, full mission video. We'll have the highest bandwidth B-loss capability. We have two engines, we're going to have more power, two generators. You lose one engine and lose one generator, you can still get the mission done and you're not having to land out in the middle of nowhere. We also have the ability to do paratroop, cargo airdrop, mobility, CASABAC, and we can actually do pelletage munitions. The fact that we have a cargo space, we can bring our own equipment. The two engines allows us to actually self-deploy so you're not dependent on Air Mobility Command or Transcom to get you a C-17 or even a C-130. In a typical mission scenario, you know, we're going to contain the target first. Echo 01, Bravo 32. In position, over. Operators on the ground own the ground layer, but having armed overwatch over top, looking outside of our immediate perimeter, is unmatched capability that you're going to need. Bravo 32, this is Echo 01. Send target update. Echo 01, Bravo 32, building one, three personnel. Building two, four armed personnel. Especially as we're going to have to be projecting from afar and not have a lot of reinforcements available in a QRF. Armed Overwatch is going to provide that ring of safety that we're going to need to focus on the target. Primary target identified. Green over black. Over. Roger. Raven 4-1 in from the south. So while operators are on the ground and we're bouncing that second ISR ball looking for threats that we can engage with the many different weapon systems that are on EMC-145 Bravo. Raven 4-1, you are cleared hot. Raven 4-1. Target's destroyed. Over. The ability to both deploy the force onto target, maintain overwatch of the target while we're on there, and then land and recover the force is truly an unmatched capability that no other armed overwatch platform can do. I think it's the most valuable asset 
for the special operators uh, in terms of not only doing armed overwatch, but their ability to rapidly adapt to the full spectrum of warfare that they're going to have to deal with.